What is up you guys? Today we're going to be filming another episode with the BRZ and as you may know if you have been watching our series uh, we are planning to track the BRZ and we just got our track suspension from Reaction USA. But before we get the suspension installed I wanted to do one last cruise with the stock suspension. driving my car uh, especially you know even in this stock form uh, it is a ton of fun and I don't have to go too fast right now I'm just you know cruising through uh, some of the curves you know again don't have to be super fast and the way that it turns you can really feel that it's planted into the ground and I don't feel like I'm shifting over or you know when when I'm turning it's very smooth um, and the feel of the car just being inside it is super enjoyable just being able to feel all aspects of the car especially when I'm turning so the car is super responsive and crisp whenever I'm turning I can really feel uh, the acceleration of the car as I'm going through the corners it's so good um, that I have no issues of it like even when it comes out of the factory so basically i'm really glad that we were able to do this cruise one last time with the stock suspension just before we add the new suspension because it's time for the next chapter in uh, my brz uh we're going to be tracking her real soon Uh, we are super excited today because we are installing what? My suspension! Yay. From Reaction so USA. <laughs> we're super excited. Uh, we got our mobile YouTube mechanic, Paolo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Paolo's going to be helping us today with installing our coilovers. And we just uh, went around the car to, me to take some measurements. Five okay. inches on the front, five and three fourths, six, six and a half on, on the, the rears. rears. So not too bad. I think we're gonna go what one inch half or inch. half inch. Half inch. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with a half inch lower, and uh, we'll see we'll see how that looks, guys. After getting the wheels and tires off, we then proceeded with removing the front and rear struts. <laughs> oh my God, dude, her elbow so close to my face. Besides finding the extra leverage to get some nuts and bolts out, the overall removal of the OEM struts wasn't too bad for Vanessa's first time. Now that the last strut has been removed, it was time to install the coilovers. Here's our custom spec inverted monotube coilover set from Reaction USA. Having an inverted monotube coilover to the front suspension will not only improve lateral loads, but also increase the durability of the strut on harsh bumps. Some loss in street comfort is a compromise we chose due to the nature of inverted monotube coilovers for that increased durability and performance. To gain back some comfort, we upgraded to Swift Springs with our spring rate of 8K front and 6K rear. Because Swift Springs use their own proprietary metal blend, they are able to achieve lighter springs, a more forgiving ride at the same spring rate compared to the standard coilover springs, and a spring that reacts to road slash track conditions faster and smoother than other brands. The coilovers also came with height adjustability, front camber plates, and 32 way dampening adjustability. Super thank you to Reaction USA for helping us with our suspension needs and guiding us in figuring out what we needed for our track days, but still having a comfortable daily driver. If you're interested in getting a set of coilovers for your vehicle, make sure to ask Reaction USA. A few moments later. Luckily, installing coilovers is pretty much plug and play. Simply line it up and bolt it right in. What we weren't expecting was how long it would take to make the fine height adjustments. Since we were measuring at the jack points of the car, we needed to make the height adjustments with the wheels on, or else every time we lowered the car, we would have to put the wheels back on. That was probably the most tedious part of the install, but it was soon going to be well worth it. <laughs> Working on it. Working on adjusting the weekend. That, adjusting that height, huh? Yep. My arm workout. 
for the week. Close in my hood. Okay. Then that is better, actually. Yeah, that lo that looks nice. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna go inside. All right, guys. I am driving my car lowered for the first time. Woo! Uh, I'm so stoked. Okay, a little nervous. Gonna be driving it out to the guys right now. Uh, they're at the front. Ooh! This is an adjustment. I hear knocking though. I wonder what that knocking sound is. But so far, I'm so excited. I really want to drive my car. Um, yeah? Yeah. But that thing sits so much better. Oh my gosh, what I'm so ex hey. I'm so excited. Mm. Ah. Thank you, Paolo, for your help today. Thanks for thanks for <laughs> teaching me. <laughs> teaching teaching Vanessa. Oh yeah. The rally track, baby. It was nice to store her in here. You could keep her here. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. That cold start. Let's see that cold start. Wow. All right, let me get behind you. No, you're gonna hear it all the way to the front. You um, you satisfied with your coilovers? Yeah. Yeah, you like that them. That was that was quite a mission, but you know that was worth. Do you feel like it's a huge difference from the stock suspension you drove yesterday? I can definitely feel a difference, but I feel like we need to take it out for another cruise. You're right. guys so we are done installing the coilovers for the brz super excited to show you guys so we're gonna go ahead and take you guys around the car show you what it looks like first before we start doing a, a nice little drive through the canyon to get some initial impressions on the suspension all right guys so this is how she's sitting this is how she looks with the new coilovers by the way, we did also get an alignment for it already, so she's all aligned. Okay, so as you guys can notice, the car is not really completely slammed. Like, there's plenty of room in the front so that it can clear curbs like this, gutters, etc., bumps, whatever. All right, you guys, so we did show a little bit of the installation, but basically what we did is that we started off in the front uh, wheels at six and a half and six and a half inches approximately six and a little less than six inches in the rear and when we did the installation we were trying to figure out what worked best and so we ended up with about five and a half five uh, point seven five I believe I do have the paper somewhere but that's approximately how low we went just a little um, a little under uh, an inch that we lowered the car so we definitely thought about lowering it a half inch more but we were limited on time so we just stopped at about an inch so although we didn't lower the car that much more than what we initially thought we were going to we definitely wanted to be sure that we can um, still drive the car on the road uh, not be super slammed uh, i know eventually we're going to lower it but that's going to be an adjustment later on um, I really enjoy the height that I currently have. I do think that we will eventually make it lower, especially when it comes to tracking, but that's more to come. We wanted to at least see and compare how it's like uh, from the stock suspension to now when it's fully aligned. Okay, now that I've said all of that, let's go for a cruise. How does the turn in feel? A lot better or? It, I can definitely feel like it, it moves a lot, yeah, a lot better, I would say, compared to stock. 
um, very manageable. Uh, I mean, the tur the curves that we've been riding aren't as um, tight as the previous cruise that we did prior to stock. Waiting for those though, that's gonna be the fun part. Um, so that's where I wanna be able to really feel how the car is able to maneuver through these curves. Um, but overall, like it's very, let's see. It's not that tight of a curve, but. Yeah, very um, shock absorbing. Is that the right term? Because <laughs> I get really. Compliant? I guess you could say yeah. compliant. Like it. It, it 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 takes it in and it's not too jarring it doesn't like unsettle the car essentially like the car feels very very much planted yep. yeah still very much planted um so as we're as we're going through the turns like i don't feel like i'm losing any control whatsoever this is actually really good actually I, riding passenger like it feels it doesn't feel bad at all um, and mind you that the spring rate that we went with on these coilovers is 8k front and 6k rear the front suspension is um, inverted monotube and then the rear the rear is regular but the valving for the whole entire suspension is uh, digressive valving so um, kind of hard to explain how that works but yeah it's it actually feels really good I'm enjoying <laughs> obviously I mean as long I mean they're your coilovers for your car so as long as you feel like it's an improvement then we have reached our goal yeah and so far in my opinion just by just by riding in the car along with Vanessa like I could definitely feel that this is much improved over stock now like Vanessa was saying down the road when we get when we start tracking the car and start tweaking things and everything it's it's gonna be really exciting to see how much better this car could potentially handle um, once we have everything adjusted to the spec that we find is suitable for Vanessa's driving at the track. So yeah, overall very good reaction USA. Thank you guys for the coilovers. They are freaking amazing and can't wait to track these now. All right guys, so we are done cruising. That's pretty much it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more BRZ videos. But overall, I really enjoyed it. That was such a fun cruise. And thank you again to Reaction USA. We really enjoyed it. Um, this has been a lot of fun. There's still so much more to come. I can't wait until we actually get to track the car. Till then guys, keep on tracking.